a Martian. So Lover is a song that when I first got married, which again was all happening around that same time, I had been a big fan of Bob Dylan's my whole life, but not nearly the fan that I became in my first three, four, five years of marriage because my wife is such a Bob Dylan fanatic. She just loves Bob Dylan. And boy, that's one thing that I'm so grateful for in my, that I got through my marriage. A couple of really nice guitars and a, a love for Bob Dylan to the extent that I had not had before. And, uh, <clears throat> and so that was kind of like, honestly, I don't know that I had written a song quite like that before I wrote it. And I remember at the time feeling like that song was a real accomplishment. Um, in any given song, and Kenny can certainly have, uh, attest to this too, but any song you write, um, mostly when you've written a lot of songs, what you're hoping to do is waste fewer words in this one than, than you wasted in the last couple you wrote. And you hope to waste fewer words each time around, right? So in Lover, I remember, I remember that I probably wrote, I remember thinking, I'm going to write a song, really simple, just a song about Jesus. Never done that before. Most of my work in Cademans was not very overtly, it wasn't overtly spiritual. I don't think I wrote a song about Jesus before. I write a song about Jesus, I'm going to write it in the style of the way Bob Dylan writes his, his best songs, like Times Are Changing or something, where it's these, these verses with this recurring stanza, and he makes the meaning of it change at the end of every verse because of what he sings just before. It's incredible. It's like magic the way he does this. And so when I set out, I probably wrote 15 verses to this song because there's so many good things to cover, so much great story that you can, things you can pull out. And that was the problem. Normally I had the opposite problem. Normally I just, I can't finish something. With this, I just wrote, it was epically long. It has five verses as it stands. It had twice that. So I was going through and trying to comb through and figure out which ones, what are the highlights here. And, and I remember by the time I was finished feeling like every so often in your career, you write a song that you feel like is maybe a little ahead of where you are. You, you just pull off a magic trick. Even you don't know how you did. And it's a couple of years before you even feel like you really get to where you could have written that song. And I think that song for me, that's one of my more enduring songs. I mean, I, I, 10 years later, I still play that song almost every night that I play. I probably play that song. And uh, so I'm real proud of it. And um, I remember having that sense even then. And so, which, so when I came to Kenny, I was like, Kenny, you gotta make, you know, I don't know, I'm new to Bob Dylan at this level. I knew he knew Bob Dylan. So I was like, you gotta figure out, you know, I got five stanzas, no chorus. We gotta make this interesting for five good minutes. You gotta figure out, you know, how to, yeah, when I was when I was 15 years old, I was singing Masters of War that, yes. that had seven verses, yes. you know, and had them memorized, and so I totally understood. Well, I which is a Bob Dylan song, by yeah. the way. Yeah. So when Derek brought this long song, yeah, I, I totally understood where he's coming from, especially in the stanza version. Yeah, which is you have to know what to do with a song like that because you have to you have to get everybody. Everybody's got to be patient. Because everybody's sitting behind their instruments. We got Garrett sitting behind his drums, and Matt on the bass, and Kenny, and you got me, and I don't know what else. If somebody might have been sitting on a piano or something, but you got all these folks sitting there. Yeah. You got five minutes. You might have to wait three verses before you play anything. And that's a great point. Because you know what I mean? You got to pace. You got to yeah. be. Sometimes those things are recorded where everybody just plays, and then it goes to the mixing process. You, you mute just, that stuff out. Yeah. You decide. Out. Okay, we're going to bring this in. Uh, we're going to bring that instrument in on the third verse. And we tried to not do that, but rather we tried to play to Make the our song. decisions as we were trying yeah. it. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. But you are in like a wedding dress And I run down the aisle I run down the aisle I'm a prodigal 